Yeah, for sure. Just don't be afraid to hop in. Okay. Alright. Um, so what's up, guys? This is the Chapter 7 Any% percent tutorial for Celeste. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit cooler because we're joined by the current world record holder, USA, USA. Mr. TGHS, sorry himself. <laughs> this video is going to be a little bit more comical than the others, but it'll be even more informative because he'll be able to bring his perspective. What's up, guys? Game. So let's start with uh, the summit base or start. Um, the first screen is really just like move as fast as possible. You start here, so generally like wave dash off of this. You can land here and dash twice or just straight up dash twice and I'm kind of upset that the golden strawberry got picked up. And then from here you're going to want to do an extended hyper and use two dashes and you can either use both dashes to land here and then jump up and dash or you can use them both to land on this wall and then climb up. They're about the same speed I believe so it's up to you like what you want to do. Something like that. Uh, the summit base is interesting because most of the screens require a specific entry into them. Um, so why is my timer gray? It's weird. Um, but uh, this this first screen right here, um, if you want to go under this, you need to enter the screen with a hyper dash. So I, I hyper dash and hold jump, and then that gives me the distance to get all the way across here. I don't know if you do anything different on this screen, Siege. Uh, what I do actually entering this screen is, uh, as opposed to hypering, I dash down and right entering and then jump on the first frame of the next screen. Oh yeah. Yeah, it has the same effect and I, I believe it's the same speed, but it's a hell of a lot easier because uh, hypering off that little piece of land is kind of... Yeah, weird. generally it's like, like... It's like awkwardly fast. Whenever you're like this close, Whenever you're this close to the transition, it's like if you don't put press the dash and the jump like immediately together, like you'll get this and then you'll get like messed up. So if you if you prefer to jump after the transition, that works too. Yeah, if you if you do that strat, then just make sure that you have. Uh, I'm sure you know by now. Like there are a lot of different screens where uh, it requires a first, not quite a first frame input because of buffers, but like a really early input on a screen. So until you're used to that, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but um, it's pretty easy once you get used to that. Awesome. And then once you dash up here to this wall, you can either climb up and dash to the exit or use a wall bounce to get to the top right. And then this screen is going to be the same thing. Um, this screen you're going to want to hyper into because it needs a bunny hop when you get through the transition. And there's a very short piece of land here, so if you do anything but a hyper into the screen, it you'll you'll almost never make it. And essentially, what you want is you want this to happen. That's what you want to happen. But you don't want to like walk into the screen and then aim your hyper dash and stuff like that. So it's better to just hyper into the screen and then bunny hop, and you'll get the same effect. And it's important to note that when you do this hyper, that you're not holding jump at all. Like you're just pressing jump to get the, the hyper dash. You're not pressing it for any other reason. If you hold it longer than that, you'll jump past the little wooden bridge and kill yourself. And then um, when you get up here, you just climb to the spring and get to the exit. If you're not comfortable with that, you can always just hit the bumper, the first bumper. It's not that much slower to do so, but the, um, task, in fact, is <laughs> in fact, the task actually does that bumper, um, but only because it does it perfectly and it's not quite RTA faster, but um, but it's definitely a good backup if you aren't comfortable with the hyper. And then uh, this next screen is another screen that you want to hyper dash into, and like basically the summit base I feel is just like a bunch of screens that you want to hyper dash into. Um, I don't think there's a single screen that you don't necessarily want some type of transition influence on the next screen, um, but hyper dashing into this screen actually. Let's you bunny hop and then dash over these spikes that are here, because what happens is, if you if you're in the screen and you're towards like the front half and try to do this strat, you'll run into the bumper. But if you hyper dash into the screen and then bunny hop, oops, you'll be able, you'll be like spaced perfectly to just go over the spikes, and that lets you skip that bumper. And uh, like skipping bumpers is not like a huge time save, 
Um, but it's uh, because bumpers, I don't know if I've talked about bumpers in any of my videos, but the bumpers, you can cancel their momentum with your dash, like as soon as you touch them like that. So like touching the bumper is not necessarily like the worst thing. Like you can like pretty much control Madeline, even if you touch the bumper, but it's a, uh, it's nice to just be able to skip that whole first jump and not have to worry about that at all. And something that's cool is that when you when you come off of this spring here, you can actually dash up and then um, when you're airborne right here, you could just start a wave dash. And then starting the wave dash has the same effect as the hyper. Again, if you have any issues with the terminology me and TGH are using in this video, um, the chapter one tutorial has all the, the, the essential glossary of the terms at the start of the video. So you can go back and watch that one and then you'll be caught up on what we mean when we say hyper dash and wave dash and wall bounce, etc. So again, if you uh, once you get used to the movement, you can like dash up and then wave dash off of here and then bunny hop and go like that. For this spring, um, I call this the better safe than sorry spring. Like until you get really good at controlling Madeline, like recoiling off the springs, I recommend you, let, you letting it sail you all the way to the left and then just controlling the dashes normally. But um, once you get a little better at that spring. Can I get back? Okay. Once you get a little better at this spring, what you can do is you can just cancel the momentum immediately with an up forward dash. And what that does is it lets you, it lines you up perfectly to get through the spikes. You just have to make sure you don't go too far past this bottom spring here because you do need it to get to the exit. And then, uh, I think that's it for that screen. One thing I've actually found with that first spring, the, the better safe than sorry spring is, uh, it's just as soon as you hit the spring, uh, dash up right. Like, just try and time it. Like, try and time hitting the spring with dashing up right. Yeah, it's not one of those things that you want to mash. You definitely want to, like, just react yeah. to her touching the spring. It's yeah, not. If it's not do, like, too tight, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it unless you like are really comfortable with the bumper mechanics or the spring mechanics rather. Uh, but like, as soon as you, as soon as you get that bumper, if you dash up and right soon enough, you should just make it all the way through. Uh, and all it takes is one upright dash to get through. I think that's like one of the fastest ways to get through, actually. Oh, I never even noticed that. I want to see that now. Oh, that was too late. Okay, well, we'll yeah, learn that at like, another time. Picture, <laughs> picture like you're buffering a jump off of the wall, but you're dashing instead. Yeah, I can definitely, like I can definitely like see that. how it works because the wall is pretty yeah. thin. So. Yeah, it's that kind of trick. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for that. I actually, I'm going to practice that now. So um, uh, this next screen, again, just same thing, hyper and then bunny hop. Um, this screen is actually kind of tight. Like if you, if you mess up the momentum on the bunny hop at all, it gets, it gets really hard to make it towards the end. So if you're not too comfortable with your bunny hops, you can just enter the screen and use like an extended hyper dash to like get all the way across like that. But once you get comfortable with bunny hops, you should just, you land from this spring here and then hyper bunny hop and it'll take you all the way to the end if you're feeling fancy you can actually wall bounce here but don't do that it's not doesn't even save time it's just like if you're feeling fancy but after you bounce off of this spring you can definitely wall bounce there that one saves time for sure and um get all the way to the top here this next screen it's done differently by different people. So I'll, I'll go through my strat and then I'll go through TJ's strat. My strat is a short hyper, which means I don't hold jump. And I dash forward and then up, and then I just go up along that wall. If, I, if I'm if i like feeling super confident, I'll go for the wall bounce, but that doesn't actually save time because I'm going like past the jewel and then I have to come back down. So I, I don't do that like because it's fast. I just do it because it's, it's I want to make sure I don't die. And uh, I believe TGH does an up forward dash and then an up dash like that to grab the jewel, right? Uh, yeah, I do that. Sometimes I do an up right. Uh, and then, sometimes, uh, it kind of depends on how I feel, honestly. Yeah, it's one of those jewels that like, there's a couple different ways to get it, but whatever you decide, you know, just make sure you don't die. This is one of those screens that you just don't want to die on. Like the, the screen itself is pretty simplistic. Um, it's just grab the jewels and then go back down and then go to the next jewel. Oops. But yeah, you want to avoid stuff like that. So just make sure that you're being safe. Like when you're falling, 
and being safe when you're climbing over and like you should be able to get through this room pretty easily. Uh, the one thing I will say is when you grab this jewel here, you can actually dash from this jewel to the spring. So you'll do like this and then go like that and like go over. And you don't have to go up forward with those dashes, that's just like the safe way to do it. You can actually dash straight and still make it to the bumper or spring. And uh, you want to get up here as your final, it's your final destination right here. No smash pun intended. Then this last screen is pretty straightforward. I don't, there's nothing complex about this screen at all, and then you just go to the end. Just make sure to utilize your dashes effectively on that screen. That's the only thing really I can add. Uh, 500 meters is a little bit trickier than the base for sure. Um, this first screen, even like just learning the strat at the start is uh did give me a, a little bit of a hard time but basically you want to you land here right so you want to get up here as fast as possible the way i do is i jump and i dash um i don't know if t just incorporated any new tech to get up here any faster he's been doing a lot of reverse <laughs> shenanigans yeah, lately I've, I've tried doing a reverse <laughs> uh, jump dash up there but i failed it too much so now i just jump and dash up here it's like hardly faster yeah, but the, the, the meat of the strategy in this room is to wall bounce off of the zipper on the left here. So what you want to do is you want to jump to line up with the zipper and then you want to wall bounce off of it and head towards the door. Once you're under the door, you want to dash up and grab the wall and that'll take you to the top. In this room, you can just dash up against this wall to get up here. There's two strats for this room. I, I don't believe that the skipping the, the bumper is actually any faster, but yeah, you, could just, you could just do whatever is more comfortable for you. Uh, the first stride is the easier one. It's grabbing this bumper right here, then grabbing this bumper, and then up and over. Oh, fudge, I didn't mean to exit the screen. I'm gonna die a bunch now. <laughs> doing the screens in reverse are harder than doing them normally. Yeah. Is gonna go to 500 meters just faster this way. Like, nice spike jumping. <laughs> and then the other strat is skipping this first spring altogether, and that would just be with two forward dashes like that. And the reason that's not necessarily faster is because Madeline loses a lot of momentum when she's airborne, and uh, dashing in general is not much faster than using springs. So, like, because she's like, slowly falling through the air, that's why you're not gaining that much speed. And then you definitely want to land uh, with a wave dash here to get into the next screen. If you want to optimize the movement on this screen, you would also wave dash off of this after bunny hopping here. Um, but that's just like a very, very slight optimization because if you just bunny hop, like the gap is, the gap is so big that you'll lose momentum. But like by restarting your momentum with the wave dash, you get there all the way. Um, but by actually jumps from this platform and just dashes up twice. I'm not sure if that's actually faster than riding the platform. It might be. Um, but I've, I've started doing that as well. So you can land here and then just dash twice. Okay. If you need the gem for this section because you're doing all hearts or 100% or whatever, it's to the left here. I'm not going that way though. Um, this next section, you want to wall bounce off of this corner right above Madeline, which she's looking at, and then dash up into the jewel. And then dash to the exit. And that's the easiest way to do that. Uh, I saw you playing around with some wall bounces in that section in practice, but I assume you didn't find any of them to be faster because you're not doing not them really, anymore. No, it, it yeah. looks cooler. But you can like <laughs> do a double wall bounce there for extra swag, but um, and you can also like wave dash as soon as you get up there because you have another dash. But uh, I don't think it's any faster, truthfully. Yeah, this is another screen that um, altering when you get into it like preserves a little bit more momentum. And by altering, I mean I just canceling this hyper into a downward dash and uh it stacks the momentum just slightly but it is the the fastest way to move and then uh you can skip that jewel by just dashing up into the exit right away off of the zipper um this screen is not the easiest but it's also not complicated um, you just want to grab the coins in order from left to right. So when you come in off the transition, you can just dash to this wall right away. 
And then you can fall to this wall to be safe, or you can go from this wall to this wall while grabbing the coin on the way. So, it's like that. And then from this wall, you can dash up to here, grab the jewel, and then grab it. So, so that one just requires a little bit of practice. It's not complex, but it just does require practice. For these zippers, you want to make sure you're holding the direction they're intended to send you in. Like, if I'm on the zipper and I'm holding left and trying to jump, like, I, d I don't get launched. Like, that's how I used to die a lot on this screen in particular, is I didn't realize you had to just hold forward and you'll get the momentum. And it doesn't matter what you're doing beforehand, like, you could be running in circles and stuff, but as soon as you jump off the spring, uh, make sure you're pressing forward. And, uh, Teach has, like, a new uh, frame perfect strat. I don't know if he wants to explain that for us here. Um, well, I don't do it anymore since I do a diagonal dash, um, and I was I was kind of messing it up in practice a little bit. I do a diagonal dash. Yeah, as long as you're far enough left on the first dash, it's pretty pretty good. Diagonal dash on the second one. Yeah. So um, if you stand on the wood part, you can't be too far forward if you do this strat. Um, if you do the bunny hop strat, but uh, if you stand on the wood and do a short hyper into the next screen, uh, you can actually bunny hop. Uh, on the first frame to skip the first bumper, uh, but I it saves like half a second. It, it doesn't save as much as it seems, but only only saves like half a second. I actually did some timing with it, uh, but uh, feel free to do as you will. Uh, you can do this if you want. So you're saying for uh, this transition, you hyper dash off the wood here that I'm standing on, and then yep. bunny hop on the first frame, and that lets you skip those yep. guys. Precisely. Awesome. That's a little bit of tech for you guys there. Um, I, being the pleb that I am, just land on the bumper. Same. <laughs> Come up here. <laughs> yeah, for it's, the... it's, it's not that we can't do this. It's just that we choose not to because it's a little bit more RTA friendly. It's a little bit safer. And it's only half a second lost uh, to be sure that you won't die, basically. Let, yeah. me, let, me be, let me be more clear, actually. It's half a second. If you do the diagonal dash in the previous room, if you don't do the diagonal dash, it's like a, uh, it, it's more time saved. It's like 0.8 instead of 0.5. Oh, because you're just naturally landing on the wood from dashing up onto it, I guess? No, that's if you don't do. Wait, I'm confusing myself. Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, your diagonal it's... dash is just faster regardless, because you're just airborne less. Like when you dash yeah, sure. when you dash straight up you are like sailing a little bit uh but yeah um don't yeah don't don't be just because it's like half a second or a quarter of a second or whatever faster is faster dude so don't be afraid to bring it up if you want to yeah. um for this spring right here um if you want to be safe you can grab this wall and then dash over the the spikes like this um but most people just dash up forward over the spikes from the spring whoops and then dash forward. And then for this part right here, you kind of want to wait till your up forward dash is going to get you like over these spikes. I think I'm a little too low actually. I can still I save this. No, I can save this. No, oh, I mashed it because I was nice scared. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like this and then you want to get over the spikes and then up to the spring like that. And then for the last screen, it's a hyper into the transition and then a bunny hop and then two dashes to get to that line. And then this next uh, zipper here has a cool jump. Uh, I don't know if you want to explain this because you're better um, at it than me. Sure, <laughs> it, it's more of a feel thing than anything, but basically the gist of it is to, uh, while the zipper is falling down, jump up on top of it and very, very quickly uh, jump and dash up and then dash upright. So while um, the zipper is descending, jump on top of it and then jump yep. up and then dash up and then dash up, right? Yep. It and has to be done pretty quickly though, like fairly quickly. It's not like, it's not a... Uh, one thing I not noticed... Really, it's not really, really tight, but... One thing I noticed trying to learn it was um, you don't want to be too close to the right because then you're yeah, up right you dash. Be like, you want to be way over on the left side, honestly, like to so be like, safe. And it's no, it's no faster even to, uh, to be like closer to the right side. Okay, okay. So, so like, let's see if I get it. Stay to the left side. You can do it. No. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like you, the you, nice. You went, yeah, I, I think if you like waited too long for the zipper, but that's not really your fault since you were paused. Also, How about that one? Was that one my fault? <laughs> one, one thing I want to add as well is that this, this, uh, the bunny hat, 
excuse me, oh the bunny hop into the double dash is marginally faster than taking the zipper. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this bunny hop, the zipper is like okay to take. Or if you like kind of screw up your momentum coming in or whatever, if, or if you jump dash instead of hypering like I always do, um, the classic. you can just grab the zipper and it, it doesn't lose that much time. Oh, I did it. I don't know if you noticed, but I did it. I saw it. Also, GG. random alternative, if you're bad at that, you can just walk bounce off of that with the help of the zipper. But that's a that's like a bunch slower, because you have to wait for the zipper to reach the bottom, and then you gotta wait for it to start up again to launch you up. So It's, it's equal it's, swag, but it's slower. Yeah, we're not about equal We're Faster not about slower. Swag is better than, than slower <laughs> swag. Oh, we did it. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all yet. All right, new fun screens. I'm gonna let you explain uh, why jumping goes fast. <laughs> <laughs> um, you basically just explained it for me, dude. Uh, so the why jumping goes fast is because why jumping goes fast. What is why jumping? Uh, why as in like the question why, not as in like the button. Oh, I, I thought you were about some, some new tech called why jumping. Like, what is this? Never heard of this. <laughs> Do you know something I don't? So when, um, if you guys remember the chapter two section, when you jump out of dream blocks, uh, Madeline has a little bit of a hop coming out of it, and you have to press the jump input like right as you're exiting the dream block. Otherwise, if you wait too late, she just like falls like that. There's actually a glitch that lets you jump twice, but we're not gonna be talking about that because it's like practically never RTA possible unless you're second place on the leaderboard. Um. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to jump out of these dream blocks here to like propel Madeline a little bit forward. Um, what I do when I load into the screen is I land and then just dash up and dash forward like that. Um, T just started to do something like this. Which... Yeah, the reverse jump dash. I think that's faster, personally. Um, Oops. But if you're not comfortable with the reverse jump dash, uh, like right away, it's the Can same as but says. It's the same inputs except reverse. Yo, um, Matt, why you put a door here if I can't go into it, Matt? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh. <laughs> it's the same deal as the Chapter 5's uh, double key skip. Um, the same type of jump. Which way do you jump? Do you dash to the stream block? Do you dash up um, or I dash upright? up and right and still jump out of it. Okay. Oops. I'm or you can dash right. That's fine too. I don't think either one is any faster. Oh, that's pretty cool. As you saw, like, Madeline usually when she dashes out of block, she, like, does this, like, sailing animation, especially when she's going, like, vertically. Oops. So... Yeah, you definitely you definitely conserve some momentum jumping out of blocks. Like, a pretty good deal of it, actually. So, like, in general, if you want to go fast, you want to jump out of the blocks, because this it keeps the momentum. It's kind of like bunny hopping on the floor. So... We'll jump, and then jump, and then jump, and then go up. This screen is pretty straightforward. Um, you just want to dash up, back diagonally through the block, back and forth until you get to the exit. Um, there's like a slight buffer when you exit a block to dash um, where like, like it's kind of like a bigger window than it may seem. Like when we're, when we're If you're watching a stream of Celeste, you might be like, damn, that dash looks like super tight. Like he just pressed dash instantly. Yeah, this, but she, this screen is not tight at all. She like, she like pauses a lot, like while she's coming out, like just like freeze framing a lot. So you have a decent bit of time to get the dashes in. And then just make sure that at the end here, you just double dash into the door. There were so many times that when I was learning the screen that I tried to like wall bounce or like conserve a dash for no reason whatsoever. Like your brain just naturally wants to play it safe. Like just just dash into the door. Don't even, like, don't even think about it and, this, and you won't die. Um, this screen, there's two uh, there's two current strats. This is the, the strat I used to use that TGH inherited. And then there's the the bye bye strat. Um, both strats will, like want you to touch this bumper as soon as possible um, to get some height, and then you want to dash into this spring, and then this is where they deviate. Um, TGH goes towards the dream block and uses the dream block for momentum to get the bottom coin and the top coin, which looks like that. And then you just go down to the last one. Whereas um, 
If you dash immediately after hitting one of these bumpers, you get like this ultra dash that you just saw. Like, if you look at the shadow, you can see that Madeline dashed way further than what her dash normally looks like. And uh, because I canceled that dash with that momentum, I can go, I can get to this bumper on the bottom relatively quickly. I I don't think this shot is any faster, but it looks way cooler. So I do this I one now. I didn't realize that that was an ultra. Yeah. Or like sort of reminiscent like of an ultra. That's interesting. I might have, I might need to look into that a little bit more. Uh, one thing to remember is um, if you're holding down while falling, um, Madeline falls faster. So when you when you're coming from this top coin, oops, I was not paying attention to what I was doing. You want to like hold, you see I'm holding down here. Madeline is narrower. Um, to get to the coin a little faster. That just saves a few frames, and it's just uh, something you should get in the habit of doing whenever you're falling. It's a, it's a lot more relevant like in the updraft section of Summit, where you do a lot of falling, but you know, it's just something to keep in mind when you're falling when you're in the game. Uh, this screen, I think, only has one strat now, right? I think we all adopted the, the jump out of the bubble strat. Yeah, pretty much. The so, bumper can still be of use, though. Like, you can still use the bumper if you want. It's a very slight time loss. One Not thing this to, bumper. Never hit that bumper. One thing to note is when you come out of this second dream block, and this is the first dream block just for reference. If this is the first dream block, you don't have to do anything there. When you come out of the second one, you have to wait a slight bit before you start dashing. If you dash down forward and forward immediately after exiting this block, you actually don't reach the other dream block. So just make sure you have like a slight delay before you go for this second dream block. Uh, for this second dream block, I mean, the, sorry, the third one. Um, for the third dream block, you want to be in the top half of the dream block, but not all the way at the top. Because if you're all the way at the top when you jump out of the dream block at the end, you'll bop your head on the little ceiling that's there. So you want to be like between like 50% and 75% of the way through the dream block, something like that. And uh, oops, yeah, I'll just do it again without the pause so that I don't mess up. And what that does is it lets you drop, jump out. You see there's a little like piece of ceiling at the end of the dream block there. So if you're all the way at the top of the dream block and try to drop, jump out, you're gonna hit that ceiling. Um, and then uh, once you jump out here, you can dash up forward and then forward through this next dream block. But if you're a little low, um, Madeline actually preserves enough momentum where you can go straight up and then to the right and you should still be able to make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it either way now because I paused the game and I'm, my time is gonna be off, but yeah <laughs> but um this strat is a a little tight if you're new to the dream block mechanic so you can always this is the spring tgh was talking about that you can use right here and you can use this spring to just replenish your dashes oops no i wanted to show the strat oh well rip rip the dream <laughs> why can you even spawn there that's my question i don't know none of the b sides have like back spawns like if you go back into a b side room and then press start and here we try it like puts you all the way at the front of the room but for some reason, all the A sides have like, I guess because you're backtracking for berries and stuff, they don't want you to maybe you get lost. Uh, when you enter this screen, if you dash immediately up forward, like with the momentum from the dream block, um, she actually like it goes like past this like thing. I don't know why it's not working for me right now. Like that. So, you know, just dash up forward right away. And then the exit you want is actually this very first exit at the top of the screen. So you want to dash up forward through this first stream block and then up into the next stream block to get out. This screen is pretty short. Alright. You want to explain your strat here? Good good sir? Kind gentleman? Um, sure. I, I know there are a couple of different strats that people use. Um, like a lot of people just kind of stick to the middle block. Uh, I kind of go out to the left a little bit. I don't know if either one's faster. I don't think it, I don't I, think it it's matters. marginal of anything. Um, but basically, I just dash straight up through that first left block. Um, oh, straight up? And then, yeah, or, or whatever, or diagonal is fine, or whatever. As long as you can, like, reach the second block on the left with a straight up dash. So do you do this? Like, I'm oh, sorry. Like, you come in. I think screen. I do do that, actually. I go up, and then I dash up. Like, yeah, I think, I think you dash up, and then up left, right? And then like yep. this. And then through that, that's it. Yep, that's it. No, Except no. Do you go more up? That kills you. Wait, um, did you go that way? The way I just went? Yeah. Okay. The same exact way you just did. Yep, that's it. Alright, for those of you that are not ex left wing extremists and don't want to go to the left, you can actually just stay in the middle. You're a right wing extremist. <laughs> you can actually just. <laughs> I actually don't even remember my shot now. You just say you clouded my mind forever. Yep. How do I. How do I do. How do I do. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> this strat, uh, we, I think almost everybody took it from Maglor. Pretty sure Maglor was the first one doing this. Uh, maybe somebody else back in the 38, 39 days. But uh, that's just the strat most people have known since the beginning, but Tej never learned the strat, so he just improvised his own strat, and I think they're both about the same speed. So just take whatever you want. And uh, don't die. I guess one trick to- No! Murdering! Please! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, one trick to not dying is to actually let Madeline exit the block. Like, ignore... If you need to go around spikes, don't dash during that buffer that we were talking about when you come out of the block. Like, if you dash instantly out of coming out of the block, you'll be too close to them, and then you'll run into the spikes. Um, but if you let Madeline like sail a little bit out of the block, you'll you'll gain that distance that you need to go around the spikes. Alright. This room is just gonna dash through here and then you wanna wave dash off of this thing when you come out of the stream block. So to do that you wanna jump out of the stream block and then that gives you that momentum. And then this is just a little bit of zigzags. I know Tej jumps out of this one. He jumps here and then does this. But I'm not a weirdo, so I don't do that. Then we hyper over here, bunny hop to this. This jump is nice and cool. Um, Teach first started doing this in like the most extreme way possible, which was like super low here and then like this. Um, I discovered just learning this strat myself that it, it's not even remotely that tight. Like you can go to the top of this dream bubble here and still get it. Like, so, you know, just give, go as high as you need for your own safety reasons when you're doing this screen. Uh, if you want to go super fast, you get down low and, you know, risk the death. And if you want to play it safe, you know, like me, take the bitch half of the bubble at the top. <laughs> it always just go over the spike, too. It, like, it's maybe I think, a second slower, but... I think this strat is not, so easy that I would yeah, never recommend going bad. over this way. Like, this is gotta be a little bit super brave. doable. Oh. You just have to know. It's just don't dash into the wall. Uh, dream blocks move at the exact same speed as dashes, so uh, when you get to this third one, you can just dash twice or go through the dream block, it's up to you. There's literally no difference. They move at the exact same speed. And uh, yeah, that room is just just dash forward a lot. Uh, you can hyper into this room if you want. I warn you, there's no floor when you get there, so <laughs> you, uh, you have to do some dashes really quick. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's anything technical to this room. Okay, this these dream blocks right here, um, you can do the, the super pleb way, which is up like that. Or you can do the Ben Teasy. The Ben Teasy. I wasn't trying to na say no names, but if you want to expose I mean, yourself. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> I don't do that um, anymore, though, so you can go ahead and insult that strat all you want. <laughs> what do you do now? Do you do my strat now? Oh, I do the diagonal. I time nice. a diagonal dash out yeah, of the was... line. I always uh or you time Adam ooh ooh look at you ooh okay so if you want to if you want to be super swag here you can actually just go all the way to the edge of this and like dash along the corner of this block like that but um that's pretty precise I don't recommend it but if you see that these blocks they line up pretty perfectly for uh diagonal dash so if you diagonal dash through them you actually wind up all the way to the top it's like they're connected even though they don't look connected uh, when you get up here, uh, because you dash diagonally, you're more forward. So you can actually dash diagonally down to, to the left to get over these spikes and then get through the bubble. Uh, one warning with this strat is if you're too slow on this strat, um, you actually dash into the bubble with the diagonal dash. Um, so you got to be ready to autocorrect that if you're not used to the strat and are just going a little too slow. But you don't die because you can cancel with your dashes. Hey look, it's a strawberry. You can actually dash on the first couple frames possible up and left through the uh, through the blocks. Like people who go for that strat, some people match for it. Um, I find it easier to time personally. Like once you get the hang for like how early you can dash, once battle line throws you, um, like that's the kind of window that you're looking for. But it's fine if you don't do that again. You can just like fall or even do the straight cardinal strat, like the left that up strat. You're talking about the very first dash after you hit battle line the first time. Okay, okay. I was just making sure I was understanding. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. Um, I wanna for for this chapter three section since it's cycle based and there's dev cycles and actual cycles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
I'm gonna explain like the first four screens before I get into them because uh, the first four screens are pretty straightforward and then I'm gonna let TGH explain uh, some of the longer screens and then uh, what I'll do to you is I'll play through the screen and you just tell me if you want me to pause anywhere and then um, okay. that way you can stop and explain anything that might be a little bit different so for this first screen um, after this dust bunny on the left moves out of your way you can dash up twice and get the jewel and then you can actually beat the cycle on the top one and get to the exit but it's a little risky so if you're not confident in your dashes um, you can also just wait for him to go by you have like more than enough time to dash to get to the thing like that, that was me waiting. Like if I wanted to beat him, it would have looked like... I don't know, that was too late because of that. <laughs> I don't even know what this looks like, what what it actually looks like when you come in. I just normally It's just... hard to explain when it yeah. looks like that. But something like that. And then here you want to dash up forward twice coming out of the transition. I didn't touch the ground. It's really important that you don't touch the ground. Uh, because if you, if you stop at all this first half here, this dust bunny that's patrolling left and right on the right side of the screen, he becomes a, a bit of an asshole. So you want to dash upright twice right away, land on this platform, and then upright, and then either fall or dash down right. Uh, what, what you do there is irrelevant, um, but you want to get down here. When you're on this platform, you can dash straight across here and then to the next platform. Um, I like to dash upright just to be a little safer, but uh, you actually you waste more time that way because you have to land, and uh, this, this guy moves out of your way like way before you pass him. So there's there's a slightly faster variation of this strat that you can do if your dashes are a little cleaner. Um, but for now, I recommend you guys just use this if you're watching a tutorial. And then up like this. Um, these next three screens look very complex to the naked eye, but they're actually all three of them are the same exact strat. What you're going to do is you're going to hyper into the room without holding jump. You're going to bunny hop, and then you're going to dash up forward. I mean, yeah, up forward and then straight. It's the same strat for all the rooms and it's like this dash forward bunny hop up forward forward bunny hop up forward forward bunny hop up forward up forward that's how you do all of those screens and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to map so that you can see that it works like when you're just uh speed running and this is a uh, shout outs to matt glor again because i definitely stole this from his like 3740 so again, hyper dash, bunny hop. Oops. See, I held jump there. Remember when I said I gonna, like I was gonna say, be careful not to bunny hop too either. It's just a short little bunny. Yeah. Hop. There we go. You don't want to hold jump on any of these jumps, except maybe this one. <laughs> and then um, yeah. If you want to take it from here, what do you do moving right. forward from here? Um, I just do a hyper and then uh, a dash. Use the second dash to get underneath that lone, lone dust play right there. Yep, that's the same. Uh, ben and I actually do two different strats here. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Um, I know you dash and then like wait for your momentum to go so you don't hyper, and um, just jump up to that left wall. Uh, I do an extended hyper to the right wall, uh, but if you're not comfortable with extended hypers or like you're not really consistent with them, yeah, that then I wouldn't recommend doing that. That's just something that, that I did and like learned to do as I was learning the game. Um, it's not really important which one you do. They're both the same exact speed because you're catching the same cycle anyway. I'm gonna die because the guys are in the way. But this is what he said, this is my strat. And then I come here and I come here and then I wait for that guy to move. But can I get around this? Oh my God. <laughs> you good. Uh, one thing to note that I like from TGH's routing in this, in this screen is that if you get up on this platform, as soon as that dust bunny to my left has moved out of the way, you can actually dash across the platform and the timing lines up perfectly, like with the dust with the dust bunny under me moving. There's one like patrolling here under me. If so if you get on this platform as soon as that other guy gets out of the way and then dash across, you'll you'll get to fall like right behind this guy as he's getting out of the way. And then at the end here, um, there's a little cycle skip that you could do. Uh, where you jump over this guy here if you're if you get to that wall fast enough um but generally just make sure you don't die because the screen is really long yep. so just take a slow yeah this is the this is the end <laughs> of a very long screen and yeah I, I wouldn't recommend doing that cycle skip either until you get extremely comfortable with movement um what about this screen here uh this screen okay so i do a short hyper and make sure i hit the floor and just drop down 
yeah, like that. And then, uh, and then I just do a hyper from there and then dash up. In this stream, I don't, I don't know which try you want to teach here. But... So it's short hyper, touch the. Oh, I held jump somehow. Touch the bunny. Touch the bunny. <laughs> do you press left at all? I feel like I fly into the. Uh, maybe I. I don't even know honestly. Maybe that's so up. second nature at this point. Yeah. How are you gonna get this berry in your all berry run? Have you thought about that? Uh, I'm just not gonna run. Berry, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> all right, yeah. One thing I like to do because because I'm I'm bad and not precise at landing here, and I also didn't know that was gonna kill my momentum, so I just hold left as I'm coming into the screen. And so I, I, I like I force Madeline to land on the corner basically. Also, yeah. Yeah. Usually I hyper from further back though, because I just climb the thing like that. Uh, interesting thing to note though is if you make it past this first dust bunny, um, with both your dashes, you can dash forward and then wave dash off that centerpiece. So if you're like feeling confident in your movement, unlike me, you know, like just be better, be better than me. You can do like, like that to get your dash back. And it's a uh, good thing about. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say it's a little nice, little optimization if you're into that stuff. Okay. The, the good thing about this screen too is that the death cycle is super super easy oh yeah you can um, show that yeah so the, the death cycle here is you just hold right <laughs> yeah i literally love it just, literally just, <laughs> just walk right. off the foot yep yep exactly <laughs> it's so That's nice beautiful. if only that were the <laughs> if only that were the entrance cycle. It might be the entrance cycle, we just don't know it because we're coming flying at a million miles per hour. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's faster than the left. Um What strats do we even used to use? Let's teach let's teach the old strat, because that yeah. one is simpler. And My so, old strat? Or yeah. yours? Okay. Um, I think it's both of our old strats. I think we both do the, like the ultra now and stuff. Okay, I'm, yeah. I'm, gonna talk, I'm gonna talk about the one that just goes clean under because it's just so yep. easy so for this next screen uh, this is what it looks like uh, there's a coin there there's a block in the way uh, most people get the coin and then you know you, you fight with the cycles to not die um, we're gonna skip all of that uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hyper into this screen and you're actually gonna hold jump so that you don't touch this here because you want to like keep going until you get to that platform with the little hairs on it uh, you want to wave dash off the platform and then aim for the jewel under the big block and it looks like this By dashing into this jewel you essentially give yourself three dashes because you used one and the, the jewel gives you two more And with these two dashes you can reach the far wall all the way on the other side of the screen And that lets you skip all those like circle spike cycles and uh, I recommend this strat so you get a little bit more comfortable uh, with Madeline's movement. Oops, don't kill me. <laughs> no, uh, if you go through this door, it actually triggers a checkpoint. So I don't want to go into that door. Um, if you're curious what I currently do, uh, let's see if I can even do I don't even remember right now, to be honest. It's something like that. So he the dies. reason the reason I, he dies. <laughs> that is that is confirmed. Yeah, the, the, this strat is actually really difficult to pull off like consistently. Yeah. And the reason I go for this is because if I land on that top platform like fast enough, I can extend it hyper past the dust bunny cycle at the end. Oops, I messed up. I forgot what I was doing. And if, if I don't get it in like one or two more tries, I'll just... Yeah, I'm like moving really slowly. I'm not sure which part it is that I'm moving so slowly on. Oh, nice one, done. What I, what I do here actually is I, uh, I do the same thing you do like off of the platform. And then once I get the once I get the crystal, I uh, just do like a wall, not a wall bounce even, just like kick off the wall up onto the uh, the other platform and do a hyper through, and then just jump up and jump dash through. But yours, I think, is slightly faster. Mine's just like a lot safer. Yeah, so mine's I'm also trying to like me a lot. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not trying to like beat a Oh cycle. my gosh, that was yeah, that's, that's such a sick strat. <laughs> Shout out to Bye Bye because he definitely put this into my vision. I'm not even gonna lie, I did not come up. Come on. This is why I have a 1045 summon and Siege has a 916. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This should be good. Oh, but I messed up the extended. I had it, even but I. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, nice. If you I decide you wanna it. try these uh, crazy strats, there's a lot going into it, but you could just message me and i'll definitely explain it like input by input 
I think after you finish, you should you should definitely do 1500 like all chained together. Sure. Just to show what it looks like, because it is that kind of chapter. Yeah. Like for sure. At least these couple rooms, like up if, until this point. If you die in this screen and you're not comfortable with like the super fast strats, I do recommend just doing the screen the intended way, which is oh, of course. <laughs> I forgot about the chip, <laughs> which is just grabbing the coin and dashing around the cycles. Um, it gets really hard to. You can't do all that hypering and maneuvering around on the death cycle because the bunnies are all at the bottom of the screen instead of the top. So um, on the death cycle, either you either have to exit the screen to retry the strategy or just do it the intended way. Uh, when you enter this next screen, you can actually skip the first two cycles right away by just dashing past them. This is like this and like this. And then what I like to do is I like to wait till this guy's coming down and then go up and over him. And I'll do that again. Bam, bam, and then bam, bam. And then uh, just wait. This guy will be at the bottom because the other guy will have moved up. And uh, I just wait for him to move out of the way. And then I come like that. There is a not really a debate anymore because everybody's kind of converted about whether you should go down or right here on this section. Um, I think if you're still learning and you're not too used to extended wave dashes, um, I would just go right here. So instead of dashing into this floor to break it, you would dash into this floor right here and wave dash to this next screen and then just take this spring to the exit. But um, if you're comfortable in extended wave dashes, you can fall here and extended wave dash off this corner. If you hadn't even do it, but I'm talking. And then double dash to the exit here. Which, uh, believe it or not, is not the intended way to do that room. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to like just start explaining this last battle line screen here? Sure, okay, so um, my strat is not difficult. There's like one difficult part of it. So I enter the screen um, with a hyper and do a bunny hop. Um, Why can't just get dark? Oh, it's because I, I, awesome. I do a bunny hop like over the middle and then just dash down to it. Uh, this, this is actually a strat that I recently began doing. Um, I, from battle line, I dash up and right to the wall, take off of it, and then dash up again. Uh, you can reach battle line with just two straight up dashes, but this gets the same cycle, so it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. Um, from here, you just dash left and down left um, once you're up in the air, and then I'll get you to the next battle line. And then from there, yep, exactly. And then from here, I like to just jump up, dash up and right over this dust bunny that's going to come down, and then dash down and right. This is the hardest part of the cycle, I think, is getting over this dust bunny. There we go, and then dash left twice. So that's nice. how I do the room. Um, an easier way to do it is to uh, to get it about a half cycle later. Uh, let me see if I even remember how to do this. Um, I think I... Yeah, it's that. Um, I don't even remember. <laughs> I think honestly, just like showing. I think gear cycle is just fine. I don't know if you know this, but you can actually just jump over that dust bunny. You don't have to like dash up and right over him. I find it more consistent to dash up over. Well, fine. Like that, you just do that. I don't know. I just maybe I'm just not. I have to. I have to see if it works with, with your cycle though. Nice, man. <laughs> <laughs> Failing with Ben's easy. This morning on Power 105. Yeah, I like that. I don't know yeah, if that's, that's any faster. that's nice. It probably uh, is. It's like, probably marginally faster. But yeah, I think uh, TGH's strat is definitely the strat you guys should be trying to emulate for that screen. It's pretty simple, it's uh, pretty safe, and it's definitely consistent because that's the thing he prioritizes. For his runs so um yeah just clip that section if you need it and just watch it again i don't have anything to add to that now it's time for tgh's favorite screen or what used to be his least favorite screen <laughs> this one <laughs> this screen it's is just awkward no yeah way. it's not awkward anymore really but it's, like, it's like okay yeah i like to i like to picture it like um I don't even, when I look at the screen, I don't even, I don't see the spikes, I don't see the walls, I don't see the bubbles. I just see like paths for dashes. So like, I, I just I just picture lines. Like I picture a line here, a line here, a line here, a line here, and a line here, like that. Like I just, 
like just a connected like zigzag like Mario Kart like freeway if you know what I mean yeah. like so when you come into the screen you'll you'll be here and the bubbles will be off screen but you can just jump up here and then zash twice and up and then bam you can also jump dash from the platform from the first platform oh the task the freaking bubble. wall bounced off of this side did you see that I was like how did he jump I was so confused <laughs> <laughs> he did he did what we used to do like off of the side where we like yeah. bounce and then go up but yeah um for this next strat is hard man. for this that's, screen that's really hard. you actually want to take a, the secret passage just at the top um the intended way to take that secret passage is actually to like screen transition here and it replenishes your dashes to get up here um if you don't if you're not comfortable with this wall bounce you could definitely just do that intended way um it's a decent bit slower but it, it'll be guaranteed for you because of the dash replenishment. Uh, the way we do this screen is we just uh, dash jump and then dash straight up from against this wall right here where Madeline's is pushing. And then we wall bounce on that corner and hold right so that we avoid the ceiling. Like that. And then um, there's two ways to do this screen. You can either use the first cloud and the third cloud or you can use this in the second cloud. This floor that I'm standing on. I think is obviously faster to use this floor because you just have access to it sooner. Like you just come off the transition and then just use this floor. Oh, I didn't get my dashes back. Like that. But um, if you're not comfortable with those extended wave dashes right away, you can definitely just do them off of the clouds as well. Like that. And then just get to the exit. Just um, This is a screen that's a little annoying until you get really comfortable with extended dashes. So, um... If you think there's like at least a 20% chance that you're going to mess up one of the extended dashes, you can definitely just like take it slow on this screen so you don't get frustrated. Uh, one thing I used to do, that I'm just going to point out because it's kind of dumb, is I used to I used to try to avoid this strawberry and what would wind up happening would be I'd hit my head on the left and on the right. Just accept that you're grabbing a strawberry on your run. <laughs> don't go for the zero strawberry dream. It's not worth it. You'll lose more runs than you... Uh, Than you would want to. Anything to add for that? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. That's exactly what I do. All right, cool. And then um, this screen is just fast movement. Just get through it as fast as you can. And then this screen, you want to be against this wall here, and then you want to extend that hyper dash to the bubble. That's not extended. <laughs> <laughs> That's not extended either. <laughs> not alive, please. And then you can actually um dash up forward twice to the bubble. I think that's what the IL does. Not the IL, the, the TAS. But uh, it's kind of tight, so I just recommend um, dashing forward and then and then, like, up forward and then straight up to the spring. Don't try to like optimize it. And then use the spring to get to the exit. Okay, this next screen is the screen from hell. Uh, I'm going to explain my strat and then I'm going to let Teach explain his strat and then I, I'm going to tell you to be on your merry way and then I'm um, I'm gonna hope and pray for you on your adventures is what's gonna happen. I'm <laughs> also gonna tell you to use Ben's strat because his is far better than mine and way faster. Okay. But mine's so, safer. So yeah, crouch. So what I do for this strat is like you land here, right? From the springs and the dashes and stuff. I come up here, I land here, and then I hyper into the next screen. And this hyper is important because you wanna bunny hop when you enter the screen so that the first snowball is really high and out of your way. Let me not return to map. So it's like this. Then I want to make sure that my first dash reaches this wooden platform here. And from this wooden platform, I'm going to hyper twice. So I'm going to land on this wooden platform, hyper to the next wooden platform, and then hyper again till I'm under the bubble. It's like this and like this. So if you can see here, this bubble, this snowball is actually going to cock block my bubble. But um, normally the snowball is this slow if you're doing the room faster and um, like not pausing and explaining stuff. So let's see if we get it this time. Like this and then bam and then bam and bam like that and you see the snowballs all the way at the bottom of the screen and that makes that makes it so that when you dash into the bubble there's no way the snowball hits you there's no way the snowball steals your momentum or anything like that and you don't have to worry about dying to the snowball from the bubble you have to go forward to the platform and when you get to the platform there's going to be another snowball because this bubble takes a long time to do its thing even if it's even if you shoot yourself <gasps> quickly after it oops Just make sure you land on that platform too that's the patented TGA checkup right there. Where's my dash? Did I not clearly land on the floor? <laughs> Matt, please. Were, I think you were too close to the edge. <laughs> Matt, please. 
<laughs> that's, the, that's the new meme for me right now. Um, what's happening? <laughs> oh, I went to the bubble like a dummy. I, I didn't go under the bubble like I told you guys to. See, follow the directions. Don't. Okay, this is this is why I have a 1045 summit. <laughs> There we go. All right. And then from here, you want to get over this guy and you want to land on this wooden platform. If you're not comfortable with your extended hyper dashes, instead of dashing straight where I just dash straight, I recommend you just go up, get over the top of everything. It's nice and quick. Um, I'm a masochist, so I like going along the bottom where I die and have to do the screen over and over just because it's cool. And there's a little validation strawberry down there, just like that. Uh, the trick to that extended hyper is to not hold jump at all. If you hold jump, you run into the wall, you bonk your head, you do a whole bunch of other stuff, and then you fall and die. So just do an extended hyper, but don't hold jump. And then with your momentum, you should be able to reach the end. Get my strawberry. Alright. So again, I'll do it one more time from the start, just so that you guys can see it without a bunch of pauses and stuff. And that's the room. I'll just go this good. Here you go, Teach. I'll pass the torch to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, um... Alright, so for this strat, uh, if you're not comfortable with this, obviously you don't have to do it. You can do the room as intended. You can take the block, you know, you can dash the left side of the block and just go all the way. Use the block to get up to the exit. Uh, Look, I'm, I'm gonna you... cut you off. I'm gonna cut you off. This is okay. a tutorial to go fast. Okay? okay, it's not a tutorial on how to be Celeste with your friends, mommy's first, I mean, baby's first platformer, right? This is any percent tutorial for them to take your record. So give them the tricks of the trade. In that case, <laughs> uh, buckle the hell up. We're doing auto scroll skip. Okay, so uh, you want to stand like on the left side of the block. Uh, and where his block is right now vertically is perfect. Uh, you don't want to be any lower than that. Uh, you want as much height as possible, and don't worry, you will you will get an extended hyper dash underneath the spikes. Like, don't worry, those spikes don't exist as long as you're not any higher than this. Um, okay, so you want to do an extended hyper dash as far as you can while the block is still moving to the right, so that you have enough momentum because the momentum carries over to your dash, so you have enough momentum to get all the way to the block that goes up near the end. Alright, nice, so they're gonna do a hyper dash and then what? An extended hyper dash, uh, and then just get to the block, and then I'll explain that after. Alright. I didn't make it. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one tidbit I will give is um, if you use the momentum of the block itself, it makes the jump easier. However, I personally didn't learn it that way. I wait for the block to run into the wall. And what that does is it, it makes the dashes at the end tighter, but it's not like you don't automatically fail the trick if your block touches the wall. It just means you have to be a little bit more precise with your dashes. And uh, those dashes are, you generally want to dash late because when you dash, it, Mandeline has a fixed momentum while dashing. So as soon as you dash, you're canceling out the momentum from the hyper dash. So you want to you wanna preserve that momentum as far as you can and then use your dashes to get through to the end. Did I make it? No, I actually didn't move the block up, I realized as I was dashing. <laughs> it's weird that you're not getting the momentum that you're supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like you, you don't get the momentum I do for some reason. I know I don't, because you, you clear it cleanly. <laughs> <laughs> No, but like, I mean, you're you're obviously still you're oh, dashing while the block that's, is moving. That's what that's what too high looks like, boys. <laughs> you're, you're dashing while the block is moving, so I don't really know why you're not getting the momentum. Like, it's actually really confusing to me. So, uh, TGH hacks the game, and that's why he has ball record. That looks better. That was better. Uh, one one trick I do for one like visual cue that I use for these dashes is I try to get as close to these spikes right here as possible before I yep. do my up dash. Um, like like I said, the, the earlier you dash, the harder it is to get to the end. So I like try to like wait till that was bad. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. 
This has ruined uh, many of my PBs. So, um, here you go. What now, sir? Okay, so from here, um, so if you uh, are not you looking to... I'm going to line it up just so they know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, if you're, if you're not looking to shave frames, uh, you can use the left wall uh, to grab onto and kick off of to get into this very uh, X pixel right here. Uh, this vertical alignment is absolutely perfect. Not vertical, horizontal. This horizontal alignment is... Wait, what? No, it's vertical. No, you're right. Yeah, okay. That, this vertical horizontal. alignment is no, absolutely right. perfect. Uh, this little piece of wall that comes <laughs> down, you want to wall bounce off of that. And the uh, the momentum for the wall bounce will throw you up into the right of the spikes, where you can dash up onto the wood platform above. So I'm gonna dash up, and then I'm gonna wall bounce, and then I'm gonna go to the wood. That's what you're saying. Yep. And you're saying this is this is super tight, or super. It's really not. It's actually the only reason I feel like some people consider this difficult is because it loses so much time if you miss it. Uh, which is why this skip isn't necessarily for the faint of heart. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm gonna give you guys the, de the the details right now because I'm a scrub. So whenever there's one of these super long, complicated tricks, I always look for the backup plan. That's the first thing I look for is what do I do if it goes wrong? Yeah. If you miss this wall bounce, remember that your character has two dashes. Yes. And just go back and get your dashes back. <laughs> yep. But believe it or not, um, this is this is how far mana line dash is, right? As long as you're in dash momentum and you press jump, you'll get a wall bounce. So if you're really close to this and dash up, like you're gonna be dash. Even though mana line's not moving anywhere because she's in the ceiling, you're still technically in dash momentum, and that's what makes it so lenient. So you wanna grab the wall, line up. And, uh, See, I'm not kidding. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what I said would go wrong. I gave the backup strat and everything. That was false. What a I fail. Know. It's because I don't use the wall kick anymore. There it is. Yeah. I, I personally do the van strat where you just yeah. walk off and do it. Yeah. So the wall kick kind of disoriented me. I also kind of want to I want to show like how close you can get into it like it doesn't even look like it should work you should you look like you're just stifled but you have to hold oh am i dead right. i wanted to know if you have to hold left i don't i don't remember if i like subconsciously hold left or not i mean right that looked more like yours you right there i don't believe you have to hold right literally at all yeah you don't have to press anything it literally protects you all right feel free to explain the jump at the end of this room while okay I'm um traversing. so so this one is slightly less worth it than uh, than the auto school skip in the previous room. Uh, but once you get to and pause when I get there, right about here, you want to jump off to the right, climb up the wall, and then do a wall bounce up the next wall, and then that will get you in a position where you can actually just dash up and out of the room. Perfect. Absolutely <laughs> flawless. So, so if you're wondering who has the record between the two of us, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's, it. Except, yeah, so the wall bounce, if you... I didn't realize that's a hold left. Yeah. I mean, Ben Ben just hasn't practiced this. Stress. I've never done this joke before, actually. Yeah. So this is, yeah. a, this is a good example of something that, like... There it is. Like, like, I've never done this trick before, but by just implementing what the way he explained it, like you see that I was able to do it. So it's like, it's not a complicated trick. It's just, you just have to know the inner workings of it. So yeah, and just depending on how early you jump off and how good your climbing and wall jump is, this can save anywhere from a second to a half a second. Nice. So again, if you're not comfortable with, you know, potentially I, losing 10 you seconds. You know how much I die trying to get around those spikes? Anything that avoids those spikes is <laughs> great for me. All right, so this next screen, just double dash over that. If you want to be optimal, there's some other stuff you could do there, but don't don't worry about that just now. Spikes are scary; they waste time. Just just double dash over the spikes. Come to just the exit. Don't don't touch the spikes. <laughs> um, this next screen, if you hyper into the screen from too close, you actually run into the wall. So you don't want to do that. You either want to like hyper from way back and hold jump, or you just want to dash jump. I, I just dash jump because I don't like to worry about where I landed from my dash. I just, like, whatever, let's just go. I just dash jump and then bunny hop. 
from here you can uh, hyper over here and dash up and then from here if you hyper from here it's actually a little scary because you actually go so fast that you can run into the spikes so I actually dash jump because I'm a little pansy but if you're uh if you're feeling confident and in control of your character you could definitely hyper like way back from the end and yeah, just control just hyper, her hyper and hold left once you get past the first spikes yep that's what I do okay this is the coolest screen in all of what was this 2000 meters all is of my... video game history <laughs> all of video all of celeste no i don't think this is actually the coolest screen on celeste but this next screen is awesome i'm gonna just walk into the screen uh you can do this screen with a hyper and a bunny hop but i'm not gonna teach it that way for now just so that you get used to like what the screen actually looks like so the first thing you need to know is if you grab one of these blocks for a short enough amount of time the block doesn't actually trigger that's the first thing you need to know and i don't know if i can do it on command but yeah, like that. Like you notice, I grabbed this block twice, and it didn't trigger either time. That's the first thing you need to know. Um, the reason you need to know that is because the optimal way to do this is to actually jump over this block, like by grabbing the very top of it. But if you're not comfortable with that, and I, I know there's going to be a lot of you that are not, you can actually just wall kick from that block to the other block, and uh, just do it that way. Like that's just, just very slightly slower. So it's not a big deal if you choose to use that route. The next thing you want to do is after grabbing the jewel is you're going to want to wall kick off the right side of the block. And I'm excellent at this Perfect. game sometimes. <laughs> like that. And uh, what this does is it gives you a little bit extra height, a little bit of extra horizontal movement, and it, it sets up this next wall bounce uh, pretty easily. So you're going to want to dash up and to the right and then up to that wall. Um, Something I say about wall bounces is that if you're close enough to grab the wall, you're close enough to bounce off of it. So if you're lined up directly with the wall and don't have to um, hold left to get back to it, you could just press jump to get to the spring as opposed to pressing grab and being safe. See, like right there, I had I was too far, so I had to go left, in which case you can't wall bounce. Like that. And then from here, you just uh, climb up, grab the block, and then as soon as the block is moved just a smidge, it's like it's just because Madeline can't clear all of this by herself. But if she could, we would. She actually might be able to. Now that I'm looking at it. It's really tight. I just like I usually just climb up to around the middle and then jump off. And however much the block is moved by then, that's just where I jump from. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> like she might be able to make that, but that's that's a video for another day. Um, so yeah, just do this, and then you come here, and grab this block, and just let it move a little bit, and then go to the end, wall kick here, and that's the whole screen. Uh, the the two backups I can give you are wall kicking here and coming here to be a little safer. Those are the like the two safeties, but I don't recommend doing the safeties. They're 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 not any easier than just doing the room the regular way. Which would what do be... you do? What do you do if you get to that block? You try the more optimal strat where you don't trigger it, but climb over it, and the block starts moving down. I still just get it because the strat is amazing. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I, I usually just go to the other block. And See, that's the. Like if I, if you need I don't to, feel to have a more like... alpha gamer mentality. Anyway, <laughs> but yes, um, like Teach what said. <laughs> If you accidentally trigger <laughs> this block, just come over here. <laughs> Beast. You can always, instead of wall bouncing and wall kicking and all that stuff, you can always just grab stuff. You know, just be able, If something goes wrong, the number one thing to speedrunning this game is don't die. <laughs> don't die and always, ha always have a bailout. Always have a backup strat when you can. Yeah, and then that's I don't... Like a, that's like a bailout. I don't think there's anything to this screen, right? Let's just do it. Yep, pretty much just dash when you can. <laughs> Eventually just... realize that there's floor down there because you mess up. It's in a, yeah, it's you in can a... hyper off that block like literally as early as you can. Oh yeah, that's a you good point. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. You'll get under the spikes every single time. Yeah, the block he's talking about is this one right here. You can cancel when Battleline throws you. You can cancel if you don't want to wait the whole like animation. You can cancel her throw with a dash. So like a lot of the later chucks on this specific screen, which she like she throws you past the spikes, but if you cancel it earlier, um, you won't even reach the spikes. So, but this is the block right here that he's talking about. As soon as you can climb up right here, you can hyper. Like it won't it won't touch those spikes, even though they look very dangerous. But 
You can Trust just me, go. you'll never hit those spikes. You'll I don't think I've ever hit, hit those spikes, spikes in my life. Like right here. Like, the like only if... way you'd ever hit those spikes is if you missed the hyper and jump dash instead. If I had let Battle Line fully throw me here, I would have went up and passed those spikes, but I canceled it with the dash to get through them. A lot of these, like, uh, section ending uh, screens just take a lot of memorization of what to do. Um, this a, last... a lot like every other screen in the game, but doubly so for those screens because they're so long. Yeah, dying on long screens is like. Because Celeste has so many, like, checkpoints and so many, uh, like, screen transitions, like, the more punishing deaths are the ones on the long screens. So yep. you want to try to avoid those at all costs. Like, if you have to practice a screen, it's easier, it's better to practice the long ones than the short ones. Which is why you never see anybody gr grinding for Second City. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> This mirror temple, I'm gonna let Tej explain most of these screens here, because he has like the best strats. Um, but just remember that when you go into these bubbles, you can press dash to shoot yourself out of them quickly. You can clear these walls with two dashes, but if you want to just be safe, you can just climb them. If first you try. dash quickly enough, like if you if you uh, dash the first time and then dash immediately for the second time, you really shouldn't have a problem clearing the spikes. Like sometimes you can hit those spikes if you delay your that your second dash enough. Hmm. So exiting this very first screen of the mirror temple section, um, you want to dash down out of that bubble and not take it into the transition. And I'll let Tuge explain uh, what's gonna happen here. Okay. So you're gonna dash into the next screen, and then on the first frame you're active on the next screen, you're gonna do a uh, a pretty full jump, but not quite a full one. Like it's it's kind of a weird length of jump. Um, and then from there, yeah, there you go. And then from there, you just do that, and you hop off of that little corner. Uh, so you don't need to like dash into that first platform. Uh, this saves the time of it like going going back and going forth. Obviously. Uh, so you do a bunny hop off that. It's really important to do a bunny hop and like not delay like at all. Uh, so that you can serve you can conserve momentum to get into the pit. Am I wrong for being offended at how harshly these doors closed? They were just like, get out. I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> so I'll, I'll do the you room. Shall not pass. Uh, something I noticed from the task that I actually am going to implement is um for the for the falling section, right like to my right right here. The task actually uh, dash down. Why could oh, I climb up? So, um, so again, it's dash and then jump on the first frame, bunny hop, and then. Okay. Oh, that's actually really good. So, um, I like to. Uh, I was trying to see if I could get to that block without killing myself. Whoa! I like to jump dash off of this to get up here and then jump dash and hyper off of here. I think Tej just hypers to this wall and then climbs it, right? Yeah, sometimes I get like a boost um, off of the corner that you were standing on before, the one all the way to the right. Um, yeah, sometimes I get like a boost off that into the next screen and I use that momentum to like carry me all the way to the block in the next screen, but not all the time do I get that. So if I don't get it, I just stand on that corner and hyper. One thing I'll just say is just make sure you don't run into these spikes, like, because this screen is a screen that uses the transition to, like, optimize the screen. So if you have to do the death cycle, you either have to do the screen much slower or, like, transition twice, which is really slow also. So uh, once you get here, like, if you have to just jump dash to not die, then just do that. Like, make yeah. sure you don't die here. In order to hyper there, by the way, you need to be standing on the left side of the, uh of the thing, of the platform, like that. I didn't know that, because I never hyper, I always dash jump. But, uh... <laughs> I never stand on the right side, until <laughs> until once I think yesterday I did it and I realized that uh, you can't do that. Okay. Uh, you said you hyper into this next screen? Uh, yes. Now what? And then just wave dash off of this? Off of where it is right now? Off of the front? Off of uh, the back? Off of... I usually just, like, wait until I'm over it. Like okay. over like either the left side or the middle of it and then wave dash because uh it moves when you dash for those of you yeah. that are unaware so that's why i'm asking where he dashes uh so 
uh, he's saying get as close to it as you can and then wave dash off of it and you try to keep your dash with the wave dash or no? Um, yes. Yeah, keeping the wave dash is actually pretty important and pretty pretty time saving. Alright, so, and that's because you dash to the top of the next wall, right? Yep. Alright, let's see if I can get it. Oh, I forgot to dash. That, and then, okay. Yep. Nice and easy. Looks good. If for, if for whatever reason you don't maintain your dash, you can just land on that little platform below, when you, below where you are. Can you make this? You might be able to just make this with just, just climb up and then just go over. Yeah. With one dash. Um, no, but if you don't, if you don't make your dash, you don't have any dashes there. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So you, your hair will be blue on the left side. So you need to like jump over and then wall kick off and land on the platform. Oh, okay. That's a good thing this is here, then. Yep. Uh, I wish I could give you the controller for this next part. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to see if we can do it. Just monkey see, monkey do. So, we're going to hyper into the screen, and then we're going to go for two wave dashes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we did it. That's a shot that I never get. Um, Tej does this every single time. He's amazing. I'm going to show you what I do because I'm bad. So <laughs> I wave dash to the screen and I hold jump and that's just to maintain height because when you when you dash the first time this first block like shoots up. So you don't want to aim for where it actually is. You want to aim for like a little bit higher than where it than where it currently is. And uh, I'm going to aim for a wave dash here and then I land on this block. I don't go for the wave dash because I'm not good. I dash down to reset the block and then I jump off of it and do a wave dash. And that's like that's like my safety strat and that's like how I get through this screen normally and avoid any risk of dying or running out of dashes. So hopefully that helps you guys. The, the old strat was something like, I don't even freaking remember. <laughs> yeah, you, was, you like, you jump okay so what you what you do is you hyper into the screen and then like dash okay so you hyper in you fall underneath the second one and then dash up and right to the dash crystal this is really slow compared to what we do now yeah like that and then wait for that one that's down the bottom to go up don't do this guys just <laughs> this learn to like wave dash just learn to wave dash comically, this is comically <laughs> slow compared to what we do now uh also i dash down here because I like I to too. hyper from here, but if yep. you want to like preserve your dash and wave dash, we're gonna do that again because that was fast and we didn't explain it. But uh, th it was as easy as it looked. It's just a hyper, a bunny hop, and then dash up forward and dash up. And if you, for some reason, are having issues with that, you can just use the bubble. Do you know about the option select screen uh, strap for this? For what? For the spike jump? Yeah. No, I don't. Where you have jump bound to two buttons, and you hold one and then use the other? No, I didn't know about this. What is this? This no? is new. Oh, okay. I learned this, this from Punchy, actually. Ben um, learns in his own tutorial. Okay, <laughs> so it's it's like you can do it without option select. It's like it's not horrible. It takes a bit of grinding to learn, but then once you learn it, it's like you'll never miss it. But, uh,. So entering the screen, like on the transition, I hold one of my jump buttons. So I have jump bound to my left trigger. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just... cut you off and I'm gonna explain it for people that are don't have a different button configuration. Okay. And then uh, and then you can explain like the easier like button configuration way of doing it. Okay. So if you guys see these like red circles on the wall right here, there used to be one where this hole is that Madeline's staring at right now. That's how Teej. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Teej uh, taught me how to do this jump. The most important thing for this jump is this first jump off of the left wall. Everything, everything else is automatic afterwards. But um, if you're too high on this first jump, you run into the spikes. If you're too low, you miss the right wall. So, I look at this black circle of missing and despair that used to be a red gem of glory and i i try to jump at the top of that gem and uh like teach said it takes a little bit of practice to get it but uh once you get it um you just have to press jump twice is all there is to it 
once you you don't press any directions, you don't press anything else. These spikes right above here, just imagine that they don't exist. This is not a spike jump, this is just two wall jumps. And you're just gonna jump, and then jump, and then say that one was too high. And then it dash up twice. Madeline, please. Thank you. And then climb the wall, and that's how you do it. So continue with your explanation, good sir. Okay, so um... I'm gonna pause the game. I so actually, quieter. I mean, I have like not that alien of a button like combination, uh, but I do have jump down to my left trigger as well as my A button, uh, just for the screen, like literally just for the screen. Um, so entering the screen, I hold left trigger, so I have the jump button held. And what that does is it makes it so that I can tap jump and get a full, a full length jump. Now, I don't know how exactly option select works, but I do know that it makes this trick like twice as easy to do. Um, for whatever reason, it makes the timing on the second jump, the second wall jump, like a lot less tight. I don't know why. Is this the you only place this... you use this? Yeah, but you do the same exact hmm. thing uh, as Ben just said, except you hold another jump button and it makes it really, really easy. Yeah, look into that, guys. If you have spare buttons on your controllers, yeah. sounds free. What do I have? I can't use triggers because arthritis and reaching. But fun fun fact, <laughs> also uh, the option select, uh, which is what it's called in like the fighting fighting game communities. Yeah, I'm not a part of any of those, but Ben knows Ben knows what option select is. Yeah. Um, but uh, option select means really, if you run one uh, A dashless which is how you get another uh, golden strawberry, the 200 golden strawberry. The coffee shop jump, which is just a jump, uh, which is immediately followed by a wall jump off of like a corner, is made like totally free. Mm, now I might be able to get that berry. <laughs> yeah, but just to explain real quick, uh, option select is just uh, one, one or one series of inputs that um, do two different things depending on the reaction to the input. So, in this case, it's a uh, you pressing. If you get the jump, then it would give you a full jump, and if you don't get the jump, nothing happens. That's like the two different things that happen. And uh, in fighting games, it's more like if I press this button and then this button. If you block, I get this, but if you escape, then I get this, and that covers your escape, and that's why people use option selects. But uh, just the more you know. Uh, this screen is a uh, just I like to dash into this bubble to move that thing out of the way and then uh, you can dash up and to the left around that spike and it's a little bit faster than going to get the jewel because these uh, platforms reset sooner and you can um, get up to the left a little bit faster because the platforms are moving earlier just make sure um this this platform that Madeline is currently above is decently to the left if you're new to this room because otherwise it'll smush you when you try to dash through i just try to dash at the peak of my jump to make it a little bit easier excuse me and then with my with my second dash i wave dash to the exit uh and refresh my dashes like that it's pretty simple i think this next screen is just bubbles right and then the next screen is the tgh special <laughs> get him boy all right, so you want to stand right there, <laughs> literally right where Ben is, perfect position, and you want to do an extended jump dash. Um, I have a visual cue, like you do a jump it, dash. It, I do a hyper. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Extended <laughs> okay. hyper. Extended hyper. My bad. Uh, so see the vines in the background? They actually serve as a really nice visual cue. Um, so you'll see like uh, just past the upper right corner of that first. Uh, dash moving platform uh you'll see where the vines kind of bend bend out a little bit right in the middle of that is where i dash up and right because that platform up in the right is going to move down like that um so you dash up and right there and then once you're clear you just dash up yeah so and then, then we'll demonstrate that uh one thing i'll couple of things I'll point out about the starting position of this jump here is actually a little bit more lenient than what it looks um, one thing though for sure is you cannot be any further up than where I currently am um, if you're any further up the hyper will actually run into the spikes like right in front of me um, so you can't 
you can't be far further up, but uh, usually we dash into the screen because we like land here and like dash like this. So if you're anywhere in like this little vicinity, like between here and where I was standing before, you should be able to get it. Uh, the the tightest part is just uh, getting that first dash through the spikes. Let's see if I can get it like that. And you can see like first I was try. I was practically inside of those spikes and they didn't touch me just because spike mechanics and Celeste. Anyway, <laughs> you want to talk about door skip? Uh, I'm not gonna do no. it, but <laughs> no. Okay, that's a perfectly. Just do this room well, as door, intended. <laughs> door skip saves a second, and I don't know how comfortable this is door uh, skip. a new runner would be learning oh. it. But this is door skip if you want to learn it and save a second. It's essentially um, don't open the there, doors. There it is. Uh, <laughs> so none of us do this. <laughs> it is yeah, pretty much. Like Actually, I do there's, it. There's like two runners that do it. I know Chase does it in his all Redberries record, which is hilarious to me. Hot likes to do it too. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, so it saves one second. It's at the very end of the run. I don't do it unless I'm way behind and memeing uh, and want to show off that I that I can do it uh, after four tries. But uh, yeah, it's it can be inconsistent. I think there's like a two pixel window to get through, but I'm not certain about that number, like each door. Um, it's not like, so it's not pixel perfect or anything, but it's just at the end of a long run, you don't want to lose 10 yeah. seconds to try to gain one. You know what I mean? It's it's just like kind the of risk, a, The risk reward is a little skewed against the trick. Yep. If it was exactly. earlier in the run, we'd probably go for it every time. But if this weird. was in the city, I would be doing this all day long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. And then now we're up to the last screen of five B, which uh, five summit, which is gonna be the last screen we talk about in this video. Uh, we're gonna do a whole different video for three K because it's so long in and of itself. Um. But uh, start off the screen. You can do a short hyper and bunny hop, uh, and, and this is actually like kind of tight so if you're not comfortable with this i would recommend just using the first spring but you can skip the first spring by bunny hopping and then dashing here you can wave dash off of this platform right here to kind of just move a little bit quicker uh but you can also just dash twice if it's a little bit easier for you you can do one forward dash to get to this battle uh, battle line bubble it's, you can either do it first and then dash up over the spikes or do it second i don't think it makes a difference um, this next section, you can extend that hyper from here to the wall and skip the intended platform, and then dash to this piece and use the bumper to get to battle line. There's technically a trick where you jump from the block straight to battle line, but it's, I don't recommend it at all. Well, there's a trick here where you stand on the top of this block instead of jumping off of the side of it. I argue that it saves like frames, um, and for how precise it is. Um, so you can choose to do it if you want. I'm not going to show it right now. And uh, after you jump off this block, you just dash up twice into the bubble. And I actually press dash three times, twice to get into the bubble and once to shoot myself quickly out of the bubble. So I just press dash three times here. Like that. And that's the first half of Summit. This is it, the home stretch. GG. Yeah, thank you so much, Teach, for helping me with that. Thank you for having me. Uh, sorry for the extra long video guys, but I hope it was worth it to get that double the insight for this very very hard level that comprises almost a third of the run so Yeah, we'll catch you guys next time <laughs>